yeah, go on, start again. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. So we, we went through the treasure room, um, decided what we wanted to keep, carried on exploring. Teclan almost got smothered in a rug. Um, I think I think he managed to get out fairly easily, and then you and one of the monks beat it to death quite quickly, I think. And then uh, we ended up in one of the rooms where all those little horrid zombies jumped out of the jars, and uh, Cade almost got himself murdered in like one round. <laughs> <laughs> Cade, I think, has learned a lesson about uh, who stands in front in strange rooms who's not fully explored yet. Um, and then I think the monks, between the monks and Fafuk, I think we managed to, oh, and Taklin, of course, we managed to beat them all to death pretty quickly. I think Cade managed to unleash another fireball that took out quite a few in one shot. Um, then we headed, we started, we started retrieving all the goodies, and I think we made it to the throne room, but we'd have to go out on the balcony to get all the stuff across the broken balcony. <laughs> Kate and I tried to rig up some stuff for the ropes, but it didn't work at all, so we decided to fuck that. And then uh, Taklin identified a soft spot on one of the throne room walls, oh, and we used one of the total statues to smash, <laughs> smash our way through into yeah. the next room. Uh, and then we shoved the sled through, and we headed on our headed back on the road to uh, Ahoy Ahoy, and that's where we stopped. Yeah, pu pushing sled. that thing, yeah, with all the gear. Sled, sled yeah. yeah. Which is yeah, apparently very heavy. Action-packed session, that was. <laughs> it was a good session. Yeah, got tackling, get almost getting killed by a car. But it's fine. <laughs> he was just tired. He wanted to go to sleep on the car. Now it's like what next? After that mimic, after that mimic and obold, I thought, what next? Oh, it's a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Adams rug on steroids. Jacqueline no. particularly liked it when you tried setting the rug on fire. That, that was a good point. That was a high point. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, <No>. sorry. <laughs> I didn't now, see you inside the carpet. Sorry. Now I wish we could have captured that carpet, because I mean, Fufuk really wanted that carpet, but I mean, I can't think of a way to save it. I mean, could you train a carpet? <laughs> could you like teach it? Like, <clears throat> you know, you have it in your entrance way, and if it's someone you like, or you say a key word, it's like. <laughs> I wish it was a flying carpet. Well, yeah, of course. But so everybody should have received uh, a private message with their XP awards, which On... dates back to um, the Lich Tower. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. Holy shit! Fuck! I level. I have to check. Uh, hang on. Oh, that's more than I expected. I assume we don't level until we have time and space. So, so well, uh, well, like uh, like we had the uh, like we said before. So some some things will go like you know automatically increase because it's it's just like part of the um, gradual process, isn't it? So. Mm. Um, so basically, things that don't require training will, uh, or that aren't new, are automatic. So you'll get your, you'll get your extra hit points. You'll have, you know, you'll be when you get, um, when you get back to a, a hoy or anyway, and you get to get a long, your next long rest. So you'll get your extra hit points uh, if you get if your proficiency increases and uh, and things like that. Hmm. Cool. cool. Other things that require that require some kind of level of training, like um, uh, like new skills. Um, oh, I've leveled as well, actually. Just uh, new spells. Anything new requires will require some some kind of training. Oh, that's odd. What's that? No, the the character sheet last time automatically leveled me and allowed me to roll the hit dice and everything. 
next time it hasn't. All right. Oh, so if I'm I'm not leveling, I'm, but I'm very very close. I have to find some monsters to kill, isn't it? <laughs> On the way home. <laughs> <laughs> So here's a question. I mean, nothing. I mean, full because I'm. I want to level that up. That sounds there. like eventually. <laughs> yeah. So, so sorry. What do you say? I didn't catch it. Sounds like adventure league. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> I just didn't hear it. Sorry. I mean, nothing. Nothing changes for my character as far as I can tell because I want to level as a cleric. Yeah. Um. Except I get a level, a fourth level spell slot, which I can't use for fourth level spells. Um, I assume I don't need training for that. I just I can just up cast into that yes, if I want. To. Yes, yes. Cool, cool. No, that's brilliant. Thank you. So that's that's just like a you know, I would my uh, my take on that is that I would just uh, assume that's just part of your like progression and personal sort of cool thing. It's nothing. It's not a new. It's not a new thing. It's just a progression of something. Yeah, no, that's perfect. I do. I do get another sneaky trick. I do get a sneaky trick. A sneaky but, trick. Um, what's, uh, what's that exactly? Cloak of Shadows. At sixth level, I can use my channel divinity to vanish. Okay, so yeah, so again, that's that's but uh, although that's standards. something yeah. new, it, it's a, it's kind of it's um it's a it's a, it's granted, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, correct. It's, it, yeah, is, yeah. it works a bit. Uh, yeah, of course it works. You know, things like that work differently for for clerics because it's a device. It's yep. something that's granted rather than something that's learned. Correct. That's absolutely correct. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No, that's brilliant. That's nice and easy for me. Then not much to think about. So, like I said, that, the only only requirement for that would be like you know to the long the long rest that makes um and making the level uh you know kind of making it official. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. I thought you were. <clears throat> I thought you were leveling in. Uh... Bad. Okay. No, no. Um, I may do again later, but um, for now, cleric. Elidamara right. has granted me my my sort of segue into bardism, and I'm getting much, 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 much role play out of it, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. But um, I think most of my skills I'm deploying at the moment are cleric based, so. So I'm trying to role play the progression. Found his faith again. Yeah, well, the Ludomar is pissing him off less. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, radio. Yeah, so... at some point I may level with Bard, but level two Bard really sucks. It's like a level three Bard's quite nice, actually. But. Um... Level two bard sucks, and I do want fourth level cleric spells because fourth level cleric spells do kick ass. Right then, so um, so you're on the coastal path um, or the cliffside coastal path back to a high high. Um, so you already it's camped out. Well, we'd left it yeah, So you camped down for the evening. Uh, can somebody just uh, chuck a twenty-sided die? So whoever is a nominated leader for that uh, for that day. Happy. I don't know who wants to be leader. Oh, there we go. Nice. Right nice. Okay. So. So to cut a long story short, uh, that day, uh, that evening, passive about event, you follow your normal camp um, set up and break, <coughs> excuse me, and break down the next morning, uh, which brings us to 7 a.m. on the 3rd of Patchwall. Right, I suppose we... Um... Weather is completely set to the wrong thing. So... Yep, so it's overcast and there is, like most days, there is um, rain, although it's uh, just a light mist, misty rain. Do you guys think? Crack on? Yeah, yeah, just keep yeah. going. Push, push, push. 
Okay, so we say because of the car, you're moving at half your normal travel rate, so it's pretty much a hex, a hex a day rather than two hexes. Uh, right, so um, and who's today's nominated leader? Should we keep okay. it as Tackman? Yeah, 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 just keep it as Tackman. Right, oh, um, so if you want to reduce your, if you're using your rations, don't forget to reduce your rations and check your, um, your counts on any other supplies that are being used. Uh, there's no navigation check because you're following a known path and you're on the coast anyway. Um, so. Right, so can tackling roll a d4? I should get my notebook. I keep it in that goes down. Very good. And can you roll 3d6 as well? <coughs> And can you also uh, roll 3d10? Okay. Uh, right, so um, is, unless there's anything particular, anything different you want to do, anything different from your routine, it'd be about an hour after waking the uh, break, break camp, so that'll uh, take us to about eight in the morning. So is there anything different, any break from routine? No. No. No? Okay. So you set off. Um... <coughs> oh, if we have any sort of clear patches for Foucault, like to use the uh, brand new telescope to scope out things in the distance. Oh, there's plenty. You're completely open to one side because, like I said, this path just literally is uh, runs a lot uh, along the cliff top. So at the moment, on the on your right hand side, where they can I don't know, where they can see it on the on the map to your, to the east, you've got. Oops, so what's that attached to that part? To the east, you've got uh, mountains rising up. In fact, you've got uh, one of the volcanoes is um, only a few miles uh, east of your location, which is quite prominent. And then beyond that, to the uh, to your sort of running northwards, you've got a, a line uh, of mountains running that runs all the way, um, almost all the way to a high oi. Yeah. Well, I'll play, the, I'll play uh, with the telescope. Okay. <laughs> right up. Um, where did Rathian go? Is there anything we can do? Well, is there anything I can tackle can do to progress his downtime, his jungle stuff? Uh, you're a bit limited here at the moment because it's um, there's not much. Oh, for God's sake, why is my mouse sticking to everything? Uh, um, because the, the yeah you're kind of limited with what you can do here because the the terrain that you're on you like I said like I said because you're on a rocky path mm -hmm. at the side of the mountains um, so you yeah. I'm not sure of the density of the, of the so yeah there's some greenery at the at the base of the mountains um, um, if it doesn't cost us forest it's fine I'll just no on. no what's it it's, uh, it's for, you know there's there's uh, I would say that if you were foraging then there's uh, there's plenty of greenery opportunity still opportunities for foraging but as for progressing yeah um, what is it we were doing again I forget uh, the exact thing uh, nature law jungle oh yeah there's the passive one and then no mind the you no 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 I will let you take it it's just because it's just yeah I'll let you, I'll let you take it. Which one? The passive or the normal? Uh, well, the passive one, if you're travelling along. Mm -hmm. 
because it's only it's only a passive check you can do while you're traveling. So you do that at the end of the day anyway. So okay, make the check at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, and can you roll? Um, can the group uh, leader roll a d hundred as well? Um, sorry, that I'm completely false. So <laughs> sixty-one. Okay. So uh, you've been travelling um, for about an hour, um, and uh, can everybody make a perception check? <clears throat> Perception check. Perception uh. check. Do I get advantage because of the telescope? No. This is not <laughs> to be a if regular. If you're using the telescope, you'll get disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, nice. Mm. Okay, so Lu Hai is uh, shouts a warning as he spots. Um, uh, some boulders uh, suddenly work their way loose higher up, higher up the mountainside, and come tumbling down. Uh, come, come, come tumbling down towards, uh, towards the path and towards yourselves. Holy shiz! Um, so you can all make a flat. I'll make a dexterity save, I believe. Really? Yep. Can make a dexterity save. Advantage on dex saves. Things I can see. I'm guessing yeah. you watch yep. counts for that. Yeah. I'm making an evasion check, Phil. Can you make an evasion check? Uh, I suppose if uh, you, yeah, I suppose. Oh, Christ. Wow. Well. <laughs> wow, that's some sucky saves there, Tacklin. <laughs> Get me, mum. Uh, so, uh, I think your mum's squashed. <laughs> level 7 skill, another two, whatever. You what, sorry, Lee? It's 11, 11 uh, 7 skill ability. A 7? Level 7 skill ability. No, level 7. Oh, level. Oh, it's a level seven. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you can't. You can't use that yet. Um, that, that's what we are talking about. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, you need your long rest to make it official, and then everything, everything you get is yeah, just all. Right. So just be normal deck save then. Oh, you've done one. Oh no, that's your perception skill. Uh, so let's see. Uh... Oh fuck. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that was that was my my response when I rolled mine. So, uh, which is kids? Mine is fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So. Let's, let's... Mine's fourteen. Uh, right. So. Um, so everybody. Um, Rushes out, there, rushes down down the path, dragging the uh, cart as best you as best you can. Um, but you're forced to um, you're forced to abandon it to let let go of it and get out of the way as quick uh, before the boulders hit. Um, unfortunately, Orbold and Tackling aren't as quick as foot, and they are struck by um, some of the boulders that come ricocheting down the down the hillside. Um, and let's see, I've got dice. And take 15 points of damage. Oof! Ooh. As they're struck by the boulders. Uh, can somebody make a roll for the cart? I'm going to do it. Yeah, go on. I'm, yeah, not I'm, not, I'm not I'm not high-decked. rolling. <laughs> I'm not rolling anything at the minute. Some unless it's absolutely roll. necessary. necessary. <laughs> it, so the cat's at disadvantage because it's uh, strangely its dexterity isn't so great. Is, oh, uh, is it, okay, how about how about 
Can I? Is, oh, it's not a creature, isn't it? <laughs> no. so I, I cannot override the roll. Okay, no worries. No worries. It was just the idea. Uh, saving throw at disadvantage for Dex. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. right. <laughs> the crate. Oh, the crate. Uh, the Right, so the sledge. The sledge is struck. Um, oh, let's see. Does it, uh, does it actually smash it or not? Let's see how much damage it does. Goodbye, treasure. Okay, so the uh, yeah, so the, the the sledge is smashed, scattering really? its contents across the path. Shit. How, how far are we from the village? Um, you are. Or uh, when... two days travel. Yeah. God damn it! Why is things sticking to the mouse point? Ten miles. Mm -hmm. um, the hex is five, then we're ten miles. Yeah, so at the minute you've just set off, so you've got five, ten, so you're just over ten miles away. So uh, mm. on the on the plus side, it's going to be, uh, well, depending on what you do with the stuff that was on the on the uh, sled, um, it's going to be quicker without the sled. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking of that, brilliant. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for helping. Can we see what caused the boulders to come loose? Um... No, there's no, there's no apparent, uh, no like uh, apparent cause. It might just have been a natural, just bad luck. There's no, you mm. know, there's nobody twiddling a waxed moustache halfway up the uh, <coughs> cliffside. Shit. Okay. So, well, what did, what did we have on the wagon? We had, we had the saddle, which was huge. Yep. The loot. We had, the, I think, the 150 GP we'd already split amongst ourselves. Yeah. Um, there was a helm, electric, electrum fish, with an electrum fish on the top. Yeah. 50 yeah. vials of perfume, 10 yeah. vials of ink, alchemy set, alchemy, alchemist's fire, and a magical token, which is quite small, so I assume one of us may have carried that instead of putting it on the way on, on can we try and fix the sled uh, have you got the means to fix it no instead of divvying everything up i'm just trying to chuck things out there i know it's a, it's a valid uh, a valid suggestion it's just if you've uh, got the means to be able to affect a repair no no it was a woodwork is that like and I don't have mending. Okay, do you have mending? No. Okay. Um, no, nothing. Well, I, I mean, there was like musical instruments and stuff on there, which I think we we're planning on selling. There was a lute, a lion, a viol. I think I wanted the lute because mine got lost in the ocean. Mm. And then, uh, but the lyre and the viol, I mean, they're light, but they're cumbersome, so... I mean, can we carry this stuff? Hey, I well, mean, you could pop a helmet on, the Electrum fish head, you just wear. Of course, you're nothing 50... stopping from carrying stuff, of course, you'll have to um, apply the weight of whatever you uh, decide to carry. Well, right now, Fabuk's totally unencumbered because he's lost all this shit in the seed. <laughs> <laughs> well volunteered. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, how much weight can you carry, was the rule? It's it's max is what ten times strength score. So fifteen fifteen times your strength score. Um, but it's, it's the absolute maximum. But once you get over, I think it's once over your times five. Is it times five is where you start becoming encumbered. Yeah, but my my armor takes me over pretty much takes me just below that anyway. So. If I carry anything, I'll get it. I'll, I'll end up twenty foot around movement. Yeah. So anything in excess of five times your strength score is encumbered, which means your speed drops by ten. If you're in excess of ten times your strength score, your maximum, um, you're heavily encumbered, which means your speed drops by twenty, and you have disadvantage on attack rolls, saving throws, <coughs> and uh, any ro well any rolls that use strength, dexterity, or constitution. So, I mean, I can carry, I can probably carry another 50 pounds before I head up into the next bracket. So, 
you know, I could probably carry quite a lot. Um, I, and my speed would still be the same equivalent to Cade's. So. Damn. It might be better off of the monks uh, c carrying the stuff then, because even if you're becoming encumbered, we're still moving faster than the majority of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. I'm four um, pounds away from being encumbered, so. Well, I'm. I'm not far. I'm only five pounds away from be becoming encumbered. But then it's another. If it's... we're all going to be if we're all going to be the same boat, then it doesn't matter really, does it? Well, yeah, because if the poop carries stuff, that drops up everyone's speed down to his. Sorry, I'm the lowest. I meant Cade's. Cade's. No, no, Cade is the lowest. Cade is twenty-five feet. So the yeah. the other there's another drawback as well. So be if you're encumbered, if you reach a level encumbrance, then it forces you either to um, your, the dehydra dehydration check it either forces you to make one if you wouldn't normally make one or make it a disadvantage if you would ma be making one. So being well, encumbered imagine. in this environment is effectively has the same effect as if you would uh, be wearing armour like, uh, like for food does. Yeah, but it's another day, isn't it, there we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So me and me and Lee would only be taking an exhaustion check. It wouldn't be a disadvantage because we don't normally have one. No. And we'd still be moving it 35 feet around, uh -huh. which means that the slowest of the group would still be at 25, whereas if anyone else took that encumbrance on, they would be dipping down slower and it would take us longer to get there. Yeah, yep. yeah that's true. Volunteer. So I, th I think it means... I'm not trying to discourage you, I'm just making you aware of the uh, the, impl the, or rather the, the complications. Yeah, I think it, that, that would be why me and Lee would probably be the better choice to take the heavier stuff. Yeah, Lee, because he's got his gauntlets of strength anyway, so he'd be able to, to carry more before being encumbered. And then me... I've got another seventy pounds before I become heavily encumbered. So, I mean, if one of the crates, if one of the crates is still in good condition, we we could sort of pop the stuff in there that we're interested in keeping, and the two um, of you guys carry the crate. Or can we drag it? Yeah, dragging a crate will be a nightmare. No, we not. Yeah, we can't really drag a crate now. Okay, it was just the idea. So, I mean, what could we fit in a crate full? Could we fit in like all the perfumes and the the inks? Because those are probably the high value stuff. I could pop the helmet on my head unless someone wants to wear a helmet. Yes, yeah, you could probably put small smaller things in yeah, but yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. I, I can carry that helmet. I don't have a helmet. Sorry, did you say hammer? No, helmet. Helmet. Oh, helmet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, if you have a helmet and a kid doesn't have one, so I can take that on my head. I mean, if you want me to do. Okay, it might yeah, reduce it your your perception levels because it's big because it's human size, so it's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> it will look funny. <laughs> Like a I definitely want it now. <laughs> no, don't wear it. You'll walk off the cliff and I'll like find you again. I can fly. <laughs> Listen, you put tie a rope around my waist, and if I walk off, you just pull me back. Hmm? Okay, I'm, I'm not carrying it, but I would no, love I'll, to. I would yeah, love to. For, I mean, for food, can just pop, pop it on his head. It's not sure, sure, sure. Usually wearing anything. Um, got ten vials of ink. Um, a helmet, 50 vials of perfume, uh, and we've got the magical anchor, anchor token thing. Do we want to take Alchemist's Fire? It's about the same size as the oil flask. Or yeah. do we want to leave that for now? I'll take that. Okay. So we're still trying to take as much as we can. You know that ink... The, the only thing that's going to be an issue, I think, is the saddle. Yeah, I think we... We leave the saddle. Holy shit! It was big. Didn't you say full? It was like a hundred pounds just for the saddle. Yeah, it's, it's too big like, for yeah. horse. It's, it's big. Yeah, it's big. It's about twice 
almost twice the size of a horse's saddle. I mean, I assume it's a saddle for like a T Rex or some strange shit like that. So, I mean, it's going to be for one of the dinosaurs, isn't it, of some sort? Ah, uh, we just leave it here. I mean, we can uh, maybe we can ask the turtles to retrieve it as a bit of a favor for rescuing some of their people. Yeah, just put it to the side of the the path under a bush or something like that, just so it's covered. Yep. I mean, Phil, if you're happy with us carrying the rest of the stuff in either a crate or in our purse. That's so fine. Just, uh, like I say, you just need to, as long as you can carry it, it's, uh, it's, it's a case of the, the weight. Um, so if you can carry if you can carry the weight, then that's fine. Obviously, uh, it's really nice that this huge list of shit that I used to carry is no longer there. Obviously, carrying <laughs> something like a crate is going to take up both your, both your arms. And... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you're doing that, just make a note of who's carrying what and the weight, and if it's making the adjustments to your encumbrance. Uh, oh. And when that's all all uh, sorted, we can we can continue. Well, how much is the vials of perfume and the the ink gonna weigh? In the crate? ink ink has got uh, literally. I I wrote them on my character sheet, you know, and oh, um, if you're yeah. carrying them, if you're carrying them, Kate, then. Yeah, the ink is one, one one ounce bottle, and basically the weight it's says a zero. It's less less than you know Just half like a pound. Be. It's probably like a pound or two. Yeah, most for for the ten. for the ten of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it'd, be, it'd, be about, it'd be about an ounce. Of, each one will be about yeah, an it, ounce. Yeah, it says one ounce bottle. Yeah, so basically yeah. on the end beyond it doesn't uh, mark the weight for them. Okay, so we can oh. ignore the ink, but the perfume bottles, I assume, are they the same size, more or less? Like yeah, little... so they'll be about an ounce. So it's the ink bottles, the perfume bottles, be about an ounce, an ounce each. So that'll be like so, five pounds tops yeah. for all. So of you them. still you still need to uh, keep track of the weight of them. Well, I, I'll take them. I, I mean, I can carry those. I still have some capacity, especially I ate one ration, which is another, you know, pound or something. Well, oh, I... would they fit in your pouch? They could, yeah, because they are tiny. So you could just put them all in the pouch instead, then. Yep, that's good. They and uh, actually, I can I can put all your golds as well there if you want me. So that would reduce weight. No, I'm good. I converted most of mine into a diamond, so I'm actually. Yeah, that's fine. It's an option because gold yeah. is tiny, so we can chuck them into the pouch. That's good stuff. Um. No, I think we're good there, Phil. I think we're good. The crate basically has got a couple of musical instruments in it. Right. And, and that seems actually weirdly, because of the we don't have the saddle, that's about it, I think. Yeah. You could probably sling um, sling the instruments over your shoulder, probably got well, at least a layer, probably have some kind of strap with it or something, maybe. Yeah, I've got the loot. Welcome I've got the loot. Down. And I can, pro yeah, I can probably carry those. Strap myself. on loot. Uh, hang on, what's the diameter of the loot? Would it fit into the pouch? No, no, no. no. Loot, loots tend to have like a bowl about a foot across and then a neck with strings, so yeah, it so tends yeah, to be a two-handed instrument. Yeah, be about the okay, size. Okay. Not exactly yeah. the same shape, but about the size of a banjo, a loot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, mm. okay. Sorry, oh, I was think okay. I was thinking flute. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, it's, my it's bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so that's why I was like wondering. Oh yeah, that that's narrow, but no, yeah, it's a, a loot. Is different. A flute would have definitely fit in. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Sorry. So uh, I suppose we redistribute everything except the saddle and the. I think the alchemy set. I mean, do you guys want to take the alchemy set? If it fits, it sounds like the crate's going to be mostly empty except for maybe an instrument. Alchemy set and the alchemist fire. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take the alchemist supplies then and the alchemist firing. So after all that, you're actually moving faster than you were before than you were with the A lot. sledge. Okay, A lot yeah. right. So, um, so yeah. So by that, in that case, by um, by midday or just after midday, when you you stop um, for a rest. And uh, drinks and, and consume more rations. You've uh, you've already covered the same amount of ground that you would have done uh, during the entire day with uh, pulling the sledge along. Wow. Uh, right. So. Uh, 
Right, yep, so there has been some time wasted, so it's not going to be quite as far. Uh, so yeah, so the rest of the day passing without event. Uh, the only uh, only thing of note is um, you spot um, some um, big cats of some kind up on the high up on the hillside, um, observing something. At first, you think uh, you're not too sure if they're if they're watching watching you pretend, and potentially eyeing, eyeing you up as potential targets. But then you you uh, you see them sort of pounce on something out of sight. Although you do hear a bit of a scream. What kind of scream? Um, it sounds sounds animalistic, but not not um, but but not as well. If that How makes far sense. away? Oh, it's a a good few hundred few hundred yards at least up uh, up the hillside. Anything through the telescope? Do I spot anything? Uh, I suppose you could make a perception check with the telescope. Perception. Is it advantage or just? Uh, no, just a straight one because it's because of the distance. Oh, mm, lovely! <laughs> I've got the telescope the wrong way around, guys. <laughs> <laughs> At least you didn't put it in it, are we? <laughs> so you can see them. You can see them both uh, tearing into something. Um, okay. But yeah, you don't know. Some kind right. of animal. Shrug. Shrug. Fine. Whatever. Carry on, I suppose. Glad it wasn't us. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So. So yeah, the rest of the day passes around the event and you find um, a suitable spot to set up camp again. Um, following the usual um, usual procedure. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Radio. Okay, right. Um, you're closer, since you're getting close to the uh, jungle now, the, uh, uh, as, the, as the sun starts to set, um, you hear the you're greeted by the drone of clouds of insects that um, quickly surround your camp, forcing you to take shelter inside the hut. So, it's like I assume they're like midges, like in Scotland or something. Yeah, like midges and mosquitoes. Yeah. yeah, a bit bigger than midges. Not not present. Potatoes. <laughs> Mutated dragonfly size. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, and can group leader make another 20 sided dice roll? Very good. Is it? Are we trying to roll high? <laughs> I might change it every day. <laughs> Flip it from one to the other, which is probably a good idea. Uh, right, so anyway, so the night passes without event. Again, you wait the next morning, 7 a.m., set about uh, sorting out uh, food rations and water rations, filling up the water skins, following your daily procedure. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot. So was anybody encumbered? No. Nope. No. Uh, hang on. Ironically, no. Nope. And for Fook has well, not got his... Uh, sorry? I would have been. Yes, right. So you have to make a uh, a con check then. I, I made not a con been... check because, sorry, Phil, I forgot I'm wearing metal arm and yeah. you said I need to do one. Yeah. A do you guys save. need healing? Because I can heal you up if you need healing. No, I'm good. Take okay, skin, that's, that's good. That's okay. Uh, after a long rest. Am I okay? Okay. I do actually have uh, lots of these good berries if anybody wants one. You don't want to use your rations, but... Oh, yeah, that's all. Use a good berry. Creates 12. 
that last 24 hours. So there's enough to feed us all. <clears throat> oh, sorry, guys. So, were we okay heading on in the morning? Mm -hmm. Yep, Fine. there's nothing. So. Okay, so uh, Tacklin's still nominated leader for the for the day. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay, so Tacklin, can you make a roll of a D4 and a 3D6, please? Are you slowly oh. making him roll a new character, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a precaution. Um, right, so. Uh, so they, uh, they set off again and the, the trail, the path, um, leaves behind, although it's still following the cliffs, it leaves behind the mountains. Your head start following the edge of the jungle. And in the distance, as you round the uh, around the corner, you can see... Uh, for a hoy hoy ahead of you, a few, only a few hours yeah. distant. Um, and before midday, you once again reach the gates to a hoy hoy. Yay! Thanks. <clears throat> right, as you approach the gates, um, one of the uh, uh guards. Lookouts uh, spots you, and you hear the sound of the bell being rung, heralding your arrival. We return as conquering heroes for Fook singing something appropriate. <laughs> Let's see what's my performance check. That one. Okay, right. Ooh, 20. So the gates open as you approach uh, the south side of the fort and as you're filing, uh, filing through the through the gates, you're greeted by a crowd. Not a massive crowd because there's not a lot of people here. But uh, you be, uh, you're greeted by most of the uh, current residents of Hoi Hoi who uh, come forward and... Pat, patting you on the back and shaking hands and congratulating you, even although you assume the congratulations, most of them aren't speak, don't speak common anyway, so. Oh. But you can tell they are happy. Yes. They are. Yes, they're not kicking yeah. you. The not spitting you. lapping it up. Absolutely <laughs> lapping it up. Waving like the queen, the works. <laughs> I just hold my forehead behind you. <laughs> As we we head back to where we where we left our stuff and we oh, so yeah. so Baka and Dama and Dama were of course amongst those that are there to greet you again thanking you for saving them rescuing them from uh, from the temple we um I suppose we obviously you know you're totally welcome look at all this loot we've liberated um. And I suppose we tell them that it's a very good thing they didn't actually enter the palace, considering what we found in there. I mean, that probably would have killed them in pretty short order. So, um, do we want I to tell them? What... Do we want to tell them though? Because isn't that kind of like part of their tradition that they all go down there? We don't want to be dropping spoilers on them, do we? Uh, well, I suppose we could offer to do like a epic retelling of the adventure. You know, make a part of their oral folklore or whatever. What do you guys think? Do a whole evening, <laughs> get bladdered, tell tall tales, <laughs> celebrate surviving. I just think these, these guys have probably been at this a lot longer than we have. If we turn up and <laughs> basically clear out the only dungeon that they've got, then <laughs> what else are they going to do? <laughs> well, we did oh. leave some stuff behind. They could go find that. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wandering off into the jungle. Still quite yeah. dangerous that place, though. Even though it's uh, even though you cleared most of the um, creatures out of it. Oh, they still got that trap there, don't they? That witch. Yeah. Yeah. 
we need to tell them about that stuff. Otherwise, they're going to be a little unhappy. <laughs> First couple walk into that room. <laughs> Wabba! <laughs> Turtle soup. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, obviously, you know, you're welcome, you're welcome. It was nothing, you know, you were lucky it was us. It was it was devastatingly difficult. The undead oh. were fought. I can give that holy symbol to Quilgok. And then if any of the totals go up there again, they can take that holy symbol with them. Yeah, that's good just, thinking. And just mm-hmm. tell them how it works. So, yeah, so I mean, full. We suggest a uh, we suggest a uh, a suitable time that we can do an epic. Hopefully, there's a feast provided as well. We can do an epic retelling of the uh, adventures. They seem to enjoy that kind of thing. Yeah, so they all um, uh, they all like jump readily agree to the suggestion, and uh, and words spreads quickly spreads amongst them. Um, that uh, there's going to be a uh, epic retelling of your adventures and rescue of the two young turtles, uh, and they several of them quickly dash off to make uh, preparations for the for that evening. Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> <clears throat> So we had a long rest, did we, on the way back? Yes. Okay. I'm not sure how I level up now, though. How's that? My character sheet is not allowing me to level up like it did before. (laughs) Can you not just increase your experience? Does it not ping it based off that? It did before, but it hasn't this time. Can't you just manually adjust things and add things? Uh, No. I've had a look around and I can't find any way to manually update it. So what would be um, what would be happening to it? What would be added to it? Well, there's the extra hit points. Yeah. And then I get two more abilities. So hit points are easy done. Well, again, I can't increase my hit dice. Shit. Can't increase your hit dice. Uh, no. Which hit dice listed? Oh yeah. That's what, oh. Can't increase my hit dice. I can okay. increase me maximum hit points. Yeah. And my temporary hit points. Yeah, you can but... adjust the uh, te- the like adjust the minimum the uh, current number of hit dice, can't you, from spending them? Yeah. Um, let's have a look. See, where is it? Where is experience on this sheet? On mine, it's on the top right corner when you click on sheet. All oh, right, yeah. D&D 5e experience. So I'm just over the threshold, but it's not allowing me to level up. Um, is it might, a feature that's been taken off? I don't know. I might, uh, you might want to... Um, I'll swap you to another sheet. I've just tried the same and it's done something. I've tried good. another sheet and don't do it on that either. Because hmm, the sheets have been, there was an update for some of the sheets as well. I don't think just increasing the experience is going to do it. No, it did last time when I got to level six. But this, and then it added all the abilities in from level six, but this time it's not done anything. Oh, it's not even changing the sheet. When you change the sheet, it's staying the same. Staying the same. Well, it's removed mine. <clears throat> when I click on sheet, I'm on OGL character sheet. If I put it on default 5e ah. and save that, then it shows I'm over the limit. What level should you be now? Uh, seven. Oh, right, yeah, it's still, it's still saying six. Yeah. Hmm. 
what's that for? Toggle between modern and legacy speed display. Don't know what the hell that is. Um, Try reset. So it's two, three, four, six, one. Is it your XP? Just remember that. Let's yeah. see. Right, so it's not just near one way or the other. Two, three, four. I've forgotten already. Six, one, do I see? Yeah. Two, three, four, six, one. Nope. You have to return. Nope. Anybody else? Um, are they? Well, is anybody else leveled up or? I'm they... trying to level up, but with the intention of leveling back down, I figured you could do both. But reading on a couple of Reddit threads, you can't do it. It's it's not something that's ever been available. What? Leveling up. I, I I've not leveled up. I created I, when I created my character. I think I created it as a druid, uh, as a multi-class druid. I don't remember leveling up. Yeah, mine were mine were level five when we first started on this. On, fo on Foundry, not roll twenty. Oh, it might have been roll twenty. I got level yeah, six. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't think from reading these threads, I'm, I'm just quickly glancing over what's been said. Um, there's like module creators saying, no, it's not something that, that exists. It's something. But that, how are you supposed to do it? Ten months ago, uh, past. Don't know. It seems just like a, an other site, doesn't it? Have you got to import everything? Yeah, maybe. In saying that, no, that can't be right because you can't. No, because it, it, it's not like you've leveled up, is it? it? I've just tried, and it still said our level six druid, uh, barbarian druid. It didn't say our level seven. Oh, hold on a minute. Um, it's current sheet is locked for one thing. Why well, have I got a second character sheet? What do you mean? It's locked. Character sheet was locked. There's a lock on it to, so you can't adjust stuff. Um, edit item. Details. Ah, there you go. So if you go to your class level on your features yeah. and you right click on it and you uh, and you select edit item yeah and and then the details tab ah cross uh, level there you go seven yep see it yeah there you go boom seven level seven you've done it automatically but then how do you do everything else for your level what are the abilities and things so yeah, does go, it do it automatically? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to tell me if it, you'll have to look and see if it's added things in automatically. If it doesn't, then what you'll have to do is you go to the compendium on the oh, right. Has it said it in? Yeah, I thought it would. If it looked like it had done done stuff. It yeah. looks. It's added in stillness of mind. Um, there should ah. be evasion. Yeah, evasion's in there as well. Now. Yeah. So the only thing it's not done is hit points, which you have to roll for them. Yeah. Right, okay. Weirdly, the experience stays the same as well, so I've just leveled up from 6 to 7, but it said I got 21,900 uh, 21, out of 34,000 experience. So that's still classed as being level 6, but it said I was level 7. So it's like the two separate bars that just don't mean anything to each other. Okay, cool. We should have to level up now. Sorry, chaps, I missed all that, but you can sort me out later. It's not that essential for me. I need two things change. Uh, what, what are you on about, Dan? So I, I've not leveled up, but I could actually level up to level seven, but my experience would stay the same. So my experience as it stands is 21,900. Yeah. But it was saying I, I could actually push myself to level seven, 
but the experience would still be 21,900. It's only a minor detail. It's just the, the experience bar and the level don't match up. They're just completely different. Yeah, the so experience bar has, has no correlation towards the level whatsoever, mechanic-wise. It's not like anything triggers. You, you, you can keep pumping numbers into experience bar. It's not going to affect your level at all. All oh, right. Yeah. No. No. That's just like a visual thing. Yeah. 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 I, did, I thought it might have done that. So. Cool. So Carry on. Me, all right. That's me. Extra hit points. Yep. So you're all, all sorted now. Then. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What? No. No. I can't change mine. You can't change yours. Right. I'll have a look, Lee. Uh, right. So. Um, so you go to features. So you go into features tab and uh, where, where it says monk at the top. Yeah. You right click on it, then select edit item. All right. And brings that up, and then you want the details tab, and then you edit the information in there. Right. Okie doke. And then it should do. It should do everything. I double. I double check to make sure it's. Uh, it has done everything. It has added mine in for ev evasion and yeah. stillness of mine. So it should if have done for yours, please. If you do find the stuff that it hasn't done right, you can. If you go to the compendium tab at the right, at the top right hand side, and there's class. There's like class features and things that you can like drag and drop into your character sheet. But you shouldn't need to do that, to be honest. It's gave me wild shape because <laughs> I'm messing around with it. I ain't got wild shape yet. I'll delete that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's not changed though. She should have a an extra point in it, but it's not. No. No, let me just change it. That's not done it. Why is that not done it? Seven chi points. Should have seven chi points. Yeah, so I've just done. There we go. Yeah, see, chi, you'll just have to edit manually as well, Lee. Yeah. Just in the same place in features. Then where it says okay. chi to the far right, yeah. click on yeah. edit item. Kurt's chi got changed around, so it's like, ooh. Okay, I've got myself oh, sorry. up to level six cleric. Sorry, carry on. Sorry, were you not you is that a different have I put you on a different character sheet? Yeah, okay. it's can't remember which one it was. Um I think it was that one that's uh, um so that's a tidy it's OGL one I think. It's on default sheet at the moment. Is that it? You've is put it? you've you've put me on the tidy one. I've put you on the tidy one. Well, anyway, you can change it yourself, can't you? You can access the sheet, the cog yeah, says it, sheet, so you can... It's you on can, the top bar that says yeah, sheet, yeah. Yeah, so you can change it yourself to whatever um, whatever sheet you prefer. Right, okay. So, uh, what are you wanting to do now you're back in? Oh, hi, hi. Well, other than getting absolutely hammered in a huge cough party, um, there was a ship that was due any time now that we were gonna we were gonna grab, weren't we, to head over to the mainland? Yep. Mm, yeah. I think me and me and Lee will just be, well, just training each other up, I would imagine. Well, <clears throat> I, I like to copy some spurs. <laughs> okay. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Do you know how long have I been carrying that 
Uh, do, do you know how long I have been carrying that mirror image spice call? You know, <laughs> ages, months, years. <laughs> I just want to copy it into my spare book, you know? <laughs> and now I have ink and free time. You do. So I, I like to copy that. Okay. So uh, into my spell. Need to make an uh, is that for the spells? Because I wasn't doing mine just for the spells. Yep. So you need to make an arcana check at the end of it. Okay. I like to use my divination roll of thirteen for this, and my arcana is plus six, so it's a nineteen. So yeah, that'll be successful then. Okay, so I just copied that one spell and I deduct the money for it. And, you know, you mentioned something about the ship. Do they know when it's coming? Uh, they, don't, they don't like have a, an exact... It, it doesn't turn up on, a, on a, set, a set day. It just turns up every few, every few weeks where it's, they're expecting it. Oh, so it's due. It's due. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Potentially. I picked up a ring while we we're in the um, the temple palace, and I don't think we ever got to the bottom of it. Oh yeah, yeah. True. Ring. To I I, I can the deep. Yeah, I can check. You know that all that. You know we have time for it. I think you already you already checked silver with magic. Oh, did I? Yeah. So, okay, so fine. We just, they were just trying to use it, weren't it? It needed and, um, not, not a tune, what's the word? And, and could you yeah, use it for us? Basically, we didn't know how to trigger it. So I would spend some time see if I can trigger this ring. Okay. So what are you doing? Um, we'll stick it in ocean. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Are you wearing it, by the way? <laughs> so that'd be good. Yes. You are wearing it. Okay. Yeah. Right. I didn't die when I put it on, so I left it on. Right. Okay. All right. So you've had it. You've not taken it off since. Right. Fair enough. No. Uh, okay. So uh, what's somebody else planning on doing? Um, if I could ever go at identifying that token. Um, I think it was an anchor, you said? Uh-huh. Feathers? I was just going to have a crack at that. There's nothing else, unless someone points me at something. I don't think there's anything else in particular, other than some songs I wanted to compose that the folks interested in. So I could do a quick roll for that. Are we planning on trying to sell the stuff we've got here, or are we going to hold on to it until we get to the bigger place? So you'll not be able to... Only if you're wanting to sell it for... Or like trade. whatever they've got. Yeah. Yeah. You're not be able to sell it for money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so investigation roll on the magical item. Oh no. No idea. I'm just gonna grab my laptop charger one second. And then a <coughs> composition check. Now I've got some energy. I'm gonna try and compose something covering our adventures. 15. Mm. Average. Or just average. Average. Yeah. Cool. And that's for Fook done, other than getting blattered and lapping up the adulation of his fans. He's sorted. Okay, what about everybody else? I just wander around we uh Lou Hyde doing monk stuff. Peace still. Doing monk stuff. Monkey do as monks do. Uh, uh, I hand roll, hand roll for me, point shit. Right oh, very apprehensive when I roll, when I rang mine. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> you can check the average. Well, with the way I, w yeah, with the way I've been rolling though, or expecting to roll a one. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> oh no! Are you inside? Are you inside a cage? Oh! 
I don't think, I don't that, think counts. that counts. <laughs> I know, I'm joking. Right, I suppose I better um I suppose I better roll hit points, hadn't I? Okay, fingers crossed. <coughs> that was mine. Uh, that's a shame. Okay. What would the average have been four, were it? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So I rolled slightly better than the average, I got five. Plus your constitution. <sighs> okay. Oh, wait, no, it's four. I'm um, bang on 50 now. You got more than me? Yeah, I'm on 54. Fucking hell. Oh, we've only got to reach 34,000 for the next level. Yeah. <laughs> oh, long rough road for that one. Um... Yeah, I suppose. I suppose, depending how long we're here in the village, um, you know, get to know the turtles. The Fuchs working on composing stuff. I mean, if he's unutterably bored, he may go look at those mud pits that the turtles recommended. Um, other than that, just stick around town, wait for the ship to arrive. Oh, probably send descending. To see if I can get hold of um, uh, Sildar. Thank you, Sildar. Um, and if he doesn't respond, then <laughs> I'll probably want to try sending to someone that's probably in the same area. Someone we met in Salt Marsh, maybe, just to see if sending's actually working. Maybe it's a distance thing. Maybe it's a Maybe there's something else happening. Uh, but if it doesn't get through to Sildar, and I can get through to other people, then Sildar's dead. Maybe the person we last spoke to wasn't Sildar. Um, or, and then the other option would be, if I can't get through to any of these people, then it'll be, okay, well, maybe it's sending that's at fault. So I'll try and try and do that kind of testing stuff to see. Okay, so board. you're able to confirm that sending is still functioning, but Sildar, you get, you get no response from Sildar at all. So like break the news to the rest, I say I think Sildar's dead. Um, I can't get through to Sildar, but I can get through to other people over the same distance. So the question, only question we have really is, was Sildar dead before we came here, or did he die? After we got here, so you can't get hold of Sildar. You can't. You can't reach Sildar with it. And neither can you reach Syndra. Yeah, yeah. We tested Syndra a few times, but we figured because we got badly hurt traveling, and she was on her last legs anyway, she probably got topped by the bad teleport. I mean, it's a working assumption I'm making. So yeah. Soldier bites the dust, boys. <laughs> so that means you've lost your contact in the uh, in the watch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank God, those fuckers can finally leave us alone. Now. <laughs> Jesus, to piss me off. Goody two shoot bastards. Sorry, uh, what? Did I say that out loud. <laughs> Okay, so nothing. Uh, nobody's got anything particularly planned. Uh, like uh, tackling's, trying fiddling with his ring. Fiddling with his ring. That's uh, one way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> Dipping it in the water and things. Uh, Just a tip. <laughs> Swirling it around. Uh, monks do monkey things. Kids. Scribing spells and Fuchs practicing for his performance. Uh, right, so yeah, so 
the uh, the day passes and the evening comes around and everybody gathers in the auditorium for for the night's storytelling and celebrations uh, so as is usual some of the other turtles generally the older ones take the floor and um, uh, regale everybody with uh, with a story or two most notably of which is um, a turtle called Mudgro who is speaks with a very loud sort of booming almost overbearing voice um, and tells of his uh, his uh, many travels up and down um, Chult serving as a guide Ooh. Mm. he could be I've useful for some information I've just put some in the uh, Chult folder of the play journal still need to authorise everyone to be able to see that I think Phil. okay That Dangaroo loot and information. Radio. Permissions. Everyone owns it. We listen with interest to Magro's tales. I mean, he knows a hell of a lot more about Chult than I think any of us do. Mm hmm. Uh, so he tells about uh, an ex his story this evening is tells of a uh, an ex uh, an expedition he um, he uh, oversaw to uh, a place called Shilku. Uh, which is um, it, which is a, an ancient, an old um, coastal town that was destroyed um, by uh, in a, a volcano, a volcano eruption, uh, and the volcano that destroyed the place is still still active. Uh, the area is um, cloaked in poisonous fumes, sulphurous fumes. Uh, it's abandoned coastal village. Um, uh, yeah, so he basically tells you how he took a took an expedition there and they explored and and um, took in some sites around there, fought some uh, fought some uh, creatures and spotted. Um, I believe they spotted. Um, an albino dwarf in the distance. When was this? Um, it was several years ago. Okay, and, and how far is this place from that main harbour where we are heading? Uh, it's uh, Shilko, but Shilko Bay is on the south coast. So it's nearish to us. Yep. You'd we might pass it on the way. It, might, it can point it okay. out for you on your map. Uh, mm -hmm. Where is your map? No, it's not coming up. When I click on that in Chult, it's not. Oh, no, there we go, finally. <coughs> in fact, it is already on the on your map, if you look. Chilku Bay. It's the southwest corner of Chult. Oh, yeah. Where the wild coast is. It is. Isn't that where we're heading? Oh, no, we're going to Jahak Jahaka Bay. Aren't no, we? we are going to the main. Yeah, we're going to the bay above that. Yeah, Which is, you know, north, north from there. <laughs> where we wanted to teleport. Well, no. There's where we are. There's the Chilku Bay, and then above it, there's the Jahaka Bay. We the, the boat goes to Jahaka Bay, as I recall. 
or the mining yeah. village outside Jahaka Bay. We didn't actually ask if it went to Port Nianzaru. Although I won't see why it wouldn't. But anyway, okay, that's I can see there. Okay, cool. Uh, did I find anything interesting, or was it like a bit of a bust? Um, so they just, um, they were just, uh, the people he, get, he uh, took there were just um, sort of mapping it. Oh, okay. Fair dues. Well, we listen politely and obviously appreciate the performance. So, um, so yeah, they were they were mapping it. So some, some uh, sort of factions and 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 businesses or company, uh, tra merchant companies and trading uh, explorers um, guilds will uh, offer contracts to to map areas. Right, so I suppose we, you know, we listen politely and then it comes to the climax of the evening, which is our event. <laughs> right, I will, I will try to do my best performance, probably start with a couple of warm up numbers just to get the crowd going. This one's with advantage because it's the um, ones that I've already done before. Oh, oh dear, they fall, they fall a little bit flat. <laughs> New instruments not serving you well. No, and then I'll 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 launch into I'll launch into the one that I've been trying to compose. Bit of a ballad. But you guys may have to rescue me if this goes horribly wrong. We just toss you in the water. Uh. <laughs> You're gonna have to toss me in the water. <laughs> uh, I'll just walk off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, right. the, really the yeah the, the applause are, are somewhat forced this evening. Somewhat <laughs> muted. Yeah, but he sort of glances at each other, looking a bit puzzled. Yeah, and then and then it was this, and it was that, and then you really had to be there. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> Let's go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> had nerves. He's been chugging the, the vino a bit too freely, clearly. <laughs> ah, that's a shame. And then after a dull flat note, head to bed. Right. Uh, so, yeah, so... Um... <laughs> Uh, some of the to uh, some of the turtles come over and, and thank you for the. Uh, it was, it was, it was quite quite inf informative. Oh, make sure we hand over that holy symbol to uh, Quill Doc as well. Okay. With the explanation of how it's to be used in that temple, if any of the the young turtles go up there again. Right. So it's so it's um so it's uh it's it's cleared then. There's nothing. I wouldn't say it's cleared as such. I think there still is a few things in there. In and around. Yeah, in and around. But there's not as much as there was, as there used to be there. But there's traps and things like that that's still in there. So it's still a dangerous place. Uh, thank you. We, uh, we owe you our gratitude. It made, uh, made our lives safer, especially that of the, uh, of the young ones. Yeah, but it's, as I say, it's, that's the reason why we're giving you this holy symbol. If anyone ever decides to wander up into there again, then just make sure they take that, because it seems to nullify some of the traps. Right, he, he thanks you and uh, gratefully accepts it and promises to s store it safely. Hmm. Anyway, for Fook... Uh... You, you, you cry yourself to sleep, yeah? <laughs> Clearly, it's the instrument. It's the instrument. It's not tuned properly. Not used to it, you know. The usual blaming tools, etc., etc. <laughs> Never his fault. <clears throat> so, it. so what are you doing? So, re retiring sheepishly for the evening? Yeah. 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 
Okay. Unless you guys want to do a performance instead. No, no. No. No, it's much more enjoyable watching you do them. <laughs> Watch me burn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's it for food goes to bed and sulks. Plays with his rabbit. I mean, his horny rabbit. <laughs> oh, I forgot you left. Uh, uh, before uh, we go, before we go to bed, uh, Kate pulls out the earplugs <laughs> and p- places them on next to the pillow. Pours hot his wax head. into his ears. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Maybe, may, maybe tomorrow. You will do better tomorrow. Probably, maybe. It was the instrument not tuned properly. So I know, we know, we all know that. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so so you you go and set up your camp again on the on the south of the beach on the outside the south gate of the fort. <clears throat> uh, so af- after this, we're still not allowed to sleep inside. No. Wow. No visitors allowed to sleep inside. We we should be citizens now, by now, not visitors. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Uh, so yeah, settle down for the evening. Um, eat your rations or whatever. You make any preparations. You anything you need to do before you re- uh, and retire for the evening. And can everybody deafen themselves on Discord apart from tackling? Shit. Mm. Hang on. How do I defend myself? That's. Uh, that defend, yeah, yeah. With hot it. wax in the ears. Is that everybody? Looks like it. Yay. Radio. You'll like this. Right. So, let me see. Just give me one moment. That. Bear with me a second. Um, oh yeah, that's that's to the suspense. <laughs> seeing the stuff I'm looking for. Um, pu- 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 pu. Is it something you need from me? No, no, it's uh, it's I'm looking for things. Um, that should be fine. Ah, gotta look. That's why I can't see it because I've got the tab open. <laughs> uh, so I want that one. We want that one. And that one. Okay. All right, let's make sure I've got this selected correctly. Uh, yep. Which one's that? Yep, it's that one. That's that one. Radio. So let's okay. So, 
Um, you wake up with a start and almost slip beneath the waves, but you manage to grasp the barrel that's been keeping you afloat. Salt stings your eyes and cracked lips. Endless rolling ocean surrounds you. As you cling to the barrel, you have a growing sense of dread. You are suddenly acutely aware of how exposed and vulnerable you are of the vast unseen depths beneath you. Suddenly, oh, it's a, it's a stupid ring. <laughs> suddenly, something brushes against your leg and a pitiful squeal escapes your lips and instantly heightens your anxiety, fearful that someone or something might hear you. What are you doing? Anything? Um, I'm assuming I'm asleep. So... Yeah, not as, as far as you're aware, you are not asleep. Can I breathe? You can breathe, yes. Right, so I'm floating. Yes, um, you're clinging desperately onto this barrel. I ask for help. Okay, well, there's nobody around. Just can't see anybody at all. That is definitely an eye that's underneath me. I stick my face towards the eye. Under the water. Okay. Can I hear anything? Right, um, so uh, as, you, as you look closely, it's... Um, uh, you see this like shadow, shadow move suddenly beneath you, and disappear. And minutes, maybe hours pass, and your body shakes violently in the water, partially from the cold, your teeth chattering, but mainly from the overwhelming fear that you feel building. You feel it bubbling up from your gut, tightening your throat, clenching your jaw. A shrill, ear-piercing shriek tears its way through your lips. You scream and scream, your throat raw and burning, snot and tears of self-pity streaming down your face. Wail, you wail and whimper. Suddenly you clamp your mouth shut, silent, something. The water begins to swell around you. For a moment you stare confused at the serrated... That's a moment. Where's it gone? That. Uh, the wasp around you for a moment you stare confused at the serrated ring around you then a monstrous fish engulfs you as it breaches the surface I accept my fate right you so wake Screaming. Uh, okay. I. Right, it's pitch is still at the middle of the night. You wake, you awake screaming, and you're drenched in sweat, but also like your clothes are wet through, are dripping um, with water, and you can like smell the, the sea water. For real? Okay. Um... Uh, let's un I... unmute everybody, our own definite. Yeah, body. sure. Um, okay. Give me that. Oh, the camera, can they see the. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you can see. All right, the full fetishes will be displeased now. They've got. Hello. Can we on. I can't unmute Lee, can I? <laughs> no. No, he has to do it himself. Uh, can somebody message you, Mark? It always like struggle to like. Oh. Yeah, give me a sec. Can... Oh, oh, there we go. Can unmute. Ow. Oops, I can't type. <laughs> oh, unmitigated. Wow. So unmute comes out as unmitigated. It's a shame you can't do that. Probably just jumped in GM. Just ping in the chat, Discord chat. Death and not on mute. And mute. And 
checked. <laughs> Mute. Chat is not checked. Go on, Lee. <laughs> You can't just ping someone. Yeah. It's a shame, Mike. Like, uh, you know, since you do set up the channel, that you can't actually do that yourself. Because you can mute people, but you can't deafen them. Yeah. Server deafen. He's been. I think server deafen worked then. It went red when you did it. Yeah, but that just deafens everyone. Yeah. Which is not right. Much good. I've sent him a direct message as well. I should have just moved it. Uh, moved uh... Moved into whisper. Yeah, moved mm -hmm. into whisper instead. I'll do that next time. I set. That's what I set it up. Hey. Yeah. Yay! Hey. <laughs> okay, Which so. One? Um, so you were all woken, um, suddenly roused from your sleep by um, a manly by high scream. pitched, high pitched, panic, uh, panic scream uh, of uh, tackling. High pitched of the manly, the manly variety. It's not manly like, at all. Uh, uh. It's not manly at all. It's very, it's like, like screaming, it's whimpering, almost crying. It's the girliest scream you've ever heard. Yes. Is he changing to a girl or something? <laughs> Where? No, no. Where is he? Uh, he's at the side. Uh, uh, sort of at the side. Well, in his in his bed or on his bedroll, sat bolt upright. Bad dreams. Was asleep. Yeah, has he got his eyes closed or open? Open. All right. Go. What's up? So, um, yeah, I tried to communicate with the deep, and the deep communicated back. I'm right. saying this really calm, <laughs> but I'm pretty catatonic at this point, and um, yeah, I don't like this ring at all. all the are we talking? Mm. Are we talking? Wait, do, you, do we have to ask you where the tentacles touched you? Uh -huh. <laughs> teeth. There were lots and lots of teeth. <laughs> You put on, salt, oh, you put on salt the ring. Water, salt water stinging my eyes. Oh yeah, the ring's been on for a while, but I think it must have been me um, actually trying to communicate with it using the ocean as opposed to. Uh, you notice it's, it's actually it's dripping wet as well. It's not it's, sea water. It's yeah, it's 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 not sweat. I think you've got a cursed ring, buddy. Mm. I've had one of them before. Not nice. It's um. I mean, can, can you take off the ring? I can, as long as I can breathe into water, I'll be fine. So what actually happened? Um, giant shark, lots of water clinging to a barrel, salt water in my eyes, dread, terror. You know, the good Get stuff. A string, buddy. Take it off. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd suggest taking it off. Take it off. You reckon? Yeah, I don't think you really want that thing on when we get on that boat and then travel across the sea. Yeah. Okay. If... I will try and take the ring off, Phil. Uh, you can't pull it off. Oh my god! <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, Here we go. Can I help? <laughs> it's not a case. It's not a case of the, you don't want to take it off if you physically cannot get it off your finger. You can chop over the finger. No, Cade, don't be a dick. No, no, no. <laughs> There's no such thing as uh... <laughs> It was just a, an option, you know, I'm brainstorming. <laughs> You're brainstorming. <laughs> you could also kill him. That would probably also solve the problem. No, I don't want to kill him. I already tried to, you know, barbecue him and that didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> one, of, one of the, there's a shout from, uh, from one of the turtles, uh, turtle guards up on the wall, shouting down, see if everything's all right. No, uh, I'll I'll be cursed. I, I showed back bad rings. dream. Bad dream. We are all right. Yeah, one of them just had a nightmare. 
So what, what, what can we do with this ring then? Or, or can we neutralize it? Um, at this moment in time, all that's materialized is me having a bad dream and waking up covered in salt water. If that's the worst so that's going to happen, you know, remove curse again. Yeah, yeah, but you never get a full. You're never going to get a full rest. And are you hundred percent sure it's the ring? A million. Well, yes. No, you're you're asking him, but we're the ones saying it's probably cursed. So, I would say that. I mean, in the morning, I can prepare remove curse. I mean, the thing can't come off your finger now. I think we're all pretty convinced it's cursed. So mm -hmm. I can I can memorize remove curse in the morning, and we can. Aladavara's grace, we can remove the curse from you. See, you say that. Quite nice. What's the nice? Dre the dread, the terror, you know, it, it kept me alive a little bit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Med made me feel good. <laughs> there we go. You know, like... Do um... you remember, do you remember when you had to drag me kicking and screaming out of a tower? And then leave, you have to chase me through the fucking woods. Sorry? Leave it till the morning and we'll do a BA Barack or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, Tacklin, we agree with you. Keep the ring. See you in yeah, the morning. Yeah. Let's go back to bed. No, no, nice. wink, wink. <laughs> like sweet, um, sweet dreams. <laughs> sweet dreams to you. Like, sweet sky, dream. like skydiving. It, it felt, you know, exhilarating. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll. Talk terrifying, morning, terrifying. Back to bed. Back to bed. We'll talk in the morning. <laughs> Tuckling didn't even like flying, so where did you go skydiving? Fuchs, Fuchs already decided on the list of spells he's memorizing. They they focus on immobilization and removing curse and stuff like that. I I have to you know prep some low divination rolls. Who's on Who's on the last um? He was on the last watch. Jacqueline, I think, usually. <laughs> it should be in the, the notes, the play notes. <clears throat> I'm set up. Yeah, Tackling's on the last one. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. By the way, we can catch him. Okay, yeah, fine. so what are you doing? Go back to bed. Okay. Yeah, I'll go back to bed for now. Okay. Try sleep. Right, you go back to bed. Uh, tackling. Um, oh, so who's on watch now? It'll be. Um, it'll be for Fook who's on watch because we're only we we're only about an hour or so after everybody went to bed. Oh, so I'm still on watch since so I was yeah. actually awake when it happened. Oh, yes. right, okay. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, so tackling eventually drops off to sleep, although it takes him considerably longer than anybody else. Um, so, uh, so how long does it watches? So each person watches does watch for about two hours, don't they? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, yep. so yeah, so for Fook, you're just about to uh, um, go and wake Lou High as you finish come to it, coming to the end of your watch when suddenly tackling sits bolt upright screaming like a little girl again oh for fuck's sake waking everybody up <laughs> and the guards <laughs> shout down is, is everything all right yeah we all thank thank you for your concern we've um we seem to have a a, a party member who's afraid of the dark we'll sort it out thank you And no one's getting any sleep. We need to knock him out, and we can sleep. Um, I don't have anything. I don't have anything ready that can do that. Then just try our luck and go back to sleep. So, yeah, hang on. just go back to sleep. I'll, I'll go for a swim. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. uh, no. That might not be, you know, for you. Well, since I'm awake, perhaps I should cast Identify on the ring. I mean, we know it's magical. Maybe we'll find out a bit more. I assume we just spend a very torrid night if we're within. God. 
so I sent somebody a whisper if there's error. Okay, jolly good. Thank you. Um, yeah. What was that? Sorry. I was trying to gain a bit of insight into the ring, but right. that was crap. Yeah. Okay. So what uh, y what y'all doing? Everybody's awake again. How much wax do we have? <laughs> <laughs> and we're inside Leoman's tiny hut, so I'm just. <laughs> Whose turn is it after for food? Uh, Lou High. Where are we actually sleeping? On the, the beach, aren't we? Uh, yeah, underneath, just, well, just, above, underneath. just above the beach on the. Just underneath the walls. <clears throat> yeah, this, that's not going to work for me. I'm going to have to move away. <laughs> what do you mean, move away? I can't. I don't want to be in water anymore. Well, we can recast I'm, I'm just, No, no, it's fine. If you guys want to stay there, I'm just going to... Yeah, I'll, I'll just, you know... We'll sleep outside, Hut. No, 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 listen. You might wander off in your sleep. And, you know, we are not there to have... It's going to be my turn for watch anyway. Don't worry about it. It's fine. No, let's move Leoman's tiny hut. We can move it to the other side of... Ahoy hoy. Well, where the palm trees are. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you won't mind, that'd be nice. Let's do that, yeah, sure. Yeah. So in my PJs, I... My silk PJs... No, no, I lost my PJs. Shit, fuck naked. <laughs> Fafu yeah. carries Me. all this stuff. I mean, kid is naked oh. too. Kid, kid likes to sleep naked. <clears throat> I lost my silk PJs, so now I'm just in the nude. Bird suit. Yeah. But cheeks glowing in the dark. <laughs> you need more time. Okay, so what are you doing? You're recasting uh, Lehman's tiny hut then? Yes, please. If you if you are you able to do that? Well, it's I, ritual. I mean, it doesn't say I can't. Yeah, yeah, it's just a minute casting. Ten plus ten for ritual. Yeah, I mean you got. Yeah. I mean you've got the uh, you got the spell slots to be able to still do it. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it's been... Uh, well, it depends. You cast as a minute, use as a slot, or 11 minutes. Just uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't used any spare slots this day. So I still have all my spare slots. Okay, yeah, okay, you would, yeah, because you would, yeah. Right, so you're relocating to uh, to where? To the north side, do you say? Where the palm east, trees uh, are oh, on the... Right, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. Okay. Right, okay, right, you relocate your camp. Um, and settle back down. Lou High takes over the watch. And an hour later, you're all woken again by tackling, screaming the place down. For fuck's sake. For <laughs> Fuck. We need to lose some. Solu other solution simple is Declan's got to stay awake all night. Otherwise, the rest of us can't sleep. Hang on. We play him in this tiny hut. Oh, I'm just trying to think. Leaven's tiny hut. The sand comes to Lemon's tiny hut. Feel. Yeah. Oh, fuck, fuck it. Yeah, nothing says it blocks sound. Mm -hmm. No, that's what I was just looking at. No, it's just dimly lit or dark for the interior. Dome is opaque from the outside of any colour you choose, but transparent from the inside. Yeah. I'm afraid Teclan's going to have to stay awake or the rest of us won't get any rest. That's fine with me. I'll stay awake. Okay. Put some coffee on. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you can sing lullaby to us. Still have the guard. guard right, uh, the watch, though. Because they'll have to slap him to keep him awake. 
time, Liam. So it's about, <clears throat> about two, yeah, it's about one o'clock in the uh, one o'clock in the morning. Right, so everybody tries to settle down again, and uh, tackling sits up, keeping Lou High company. Doing anything in particular, either of you? Talking about the merriment of rings. Should I, I just never learn? Uh, no, not uh, anything particular. Just you know what you could do. You could put your, you could put your gauntlets on. And just punch me really hard in jaw. <laughs> break your jaw. Is that what you want? Just, yeah, just just go to sleep. <laughs> I don't need to go on some to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right then. So, right, the um, the night passes without further event. By the next morning, um, Tackling is uh, barely able to stay awake and has one level of exhaustion. Excellent. So he's got um, his disadvantage on saves against spells, yeah? <laughs> yep. Yep. <That's> nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everything's going according to plan. <laughs> I'd hold still Teclan. This is probably going to hit. I spend some time and I I memorize remove curse and um, try it on him. Okay. There's no save to it. Nope, there is not. Uh, right, so you cast a move curse on him. As um, you feel a sense of relief, and the uh, as the ring drops from your fi- falls from your finger. I <laughs> kick the ring as far away as possible. Um... <laughs> I thought you were going to say I put it back. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would say take it down to the, the beach and then throw it as far as you can into the sea. <clears throat> well, you see, the... no, we keep no, 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 we, we yeah, we should sell it, we should sell it to someone, uh, <laughs> someone I mean, who is that's... not nice to us. That's exactly, yeah. Nama does. You, you guys Sorry, can't. What? I'm not doing that again after last time. <laughs> Fafuk's quite happy to keep the ring. It, I, um... I'm sure I could find a use for it at some point. It gave me a strange aversion to water and the ocean in general. Really? Uh, yeah, I wanted to be in it at the start, but then it, the dread and the fear just got too much, and it just the exhilaration was too much. Let's say it was fun to start with, but then it became overpowering to the point where yeah, it, it was not good. So it's a ring of water-based nightmares. Yes. Like aversion to water. Mm-hmm. Also useful, or, ring. or the ocean in general. I'm not sure. I just <clears throat> I, I couldn't be near the coast. How bizarre. I mean, just think of the effort. I mean, we have no idea even how to make a magical ring. But somebody makes a ring. It gives you fucking nightmares. And makes you want to avoid the ocean. I mean, that's just like. Did you did you guys see the shark? No, no, they didn't oh, see any God. of that. They didn't see any. Wow, of that. I thought they saw the foot. I thought they saw the feet. No, they didn't see any of that. Did they not see anything? No. no. Oh, wow. I just flicked onto the stream and then flicked back, and I just saw those those pe- that pair of feet dangling in the water, which is why I made that comment about the full face. Ah, uh, right. I wasn't sure what everybody had seen. Yeah, well. Re- re- retailing my nightmares um, I was clinging to a barrel in the middle of the ocean uh, mm. just dread and fear and water and just impending doom um, which you know I thought were fun to start with and then <laughs> as, as the, as the big I- doom goes <laughs> the, 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 the big eye appeared underneath me and yeah then the teeth and it, it was not fun so yeah mm. I uh, add them um, be wary of the ring. It's not nice. As far as rings go, you know, two out of ten would not wear again. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think we keep the ring. 
we could inflict it on uh, somebody we don't like. Nothing else. Just shits and giggles. I'm sure the monks will approve. Uh, no. <laughs> so we just uh, throw it in the sea. You see, I, I, I appreciate throwing it away, but I think throwing it into the ocean might be not the best idea, given what it can do to people with its, you know, water evasion. Maybe stick it in sand, dig it somewhere. Well, I'm going to say, if you throw it in the sea, then the only thing that's going to put it on is an octopus. <laughs> and then it's going to be really in the shits. Or we, um, or we wait till we're on a boat and we're like halfway to where we're going. We just and then lob it in the rid. sea. Yeah, because that way the currents and the tides and stuff won't bring it, bring it close yeah. to the shore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll be a better idea. Yeah, when good idea. Ship, just lob it. I've got a bag of sand. I'll stick it in a bag of sand until they get no, no, I'll, I'll keep it safe. I'll keep it safe. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Hand the ring over. I'll keep it safe. Trust for folk at your peril. <laughs> <laughs> and for folk tucks it into a pocket. What's it got in its pockets? In its pockets? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> a folk the deceiver. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so um, Tacklin spends most of the day um, sleeping, uh, but sleeping a deep, a deep and pleasant sleep. Just selling us images of <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, Fufuk has another go at improving on his composition of his. Dwangaroo Epic. Okay. Yeah. He's really. getting worse. It's getting worse. Work. <laughs> He's struggling to, you know, put words to paper. And what are you blaming now? Lack of sleep? Inspiration. Lack of inspiration. That's it. Mm-hmm. It's too hot here. I can't. Just can't think. You know, all this heat. Maybe if you go for a swim. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <clears throat> Got a ring of swimming you arr, can have. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> uh, no, I suppose we just spend the day chatting to. Well, if I if I stumble across Mudgraw, he sounds like an interesting uh, gentleman. Probably chat to him a little bit, see if I can find out a bit more about the mainland. What we expect to find, um, you know, bits and pieces. Any other points of interest on this particular island we're on? I mean, there may be something interesting locally. We could go, like tourists, go take a look while we're waiting. Um, yeah. So you're, yeah. So you're what? Ch- just chatting with the locals and mud in particular. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's uh, everybody else doing? Sleeping. Yeah. I, oh sorry. Yeah, well. So I would have an afternoon nap. That's definite. Apart from that, I just rest and no twinkling my fingers. I'm just having a relaxed day, which is unusual. I'll be uh, improving my verbalism still for the. Okay. The bloke. Um, what about uh, Luhai? Just uh, training. Okay. He's not that dummy. Again. Right. The fighting dummy. Yeah. Okay. Right. You asking uh... Asking Tottles. Oh, sorry? Asking Tottles, to... <laughs> asking Tottles to throw stuff at me so I can <laughs> in, uh, <laughs> impact on me a bit. <laughs> Invasion skill. <laughs> okay, right. You attract quite a crowd as they watch your training and um, entertain the, the younger turtles as they hurl a variety of uh, implements and, uh, and fruit at you. Dead fish. Does, does invasion work for spells? Yeah, I was thinking the same. Do you want to <laughs> I, thinking I am hurt and fireball, please. Dodge this. <laughs> so, yeah, he does. <laughs> I mean, if you want to train, I can help you. I don't want to yes. hurt you. We can definitely help. 
<laughs> I know, because I'm a little bit bored, you know, but maybe if you are actually, it does work for Fireball. Brilliant. <laughs> Let's try yeah. it. Does it work yeah. against yeah. Sacred Flame and stuff like that? Let's see. Let's yeah, that is the example, actually. It's, it's any deck effect. save. Yeah. Oh, area. Dex, the deck oh. save. Very nice. That's very good. Is it any deck save or is it area of effect deck save? Uh, I don't know. Hang on. What, evasion? When you're yeah. subjected to an effect. Evasion, that your instinctive you to make agility a lets you. Throw. Yeah, lets you dodge out the way. Certain, certain area effects, such as a dragon's lightning breath or a fireball spell, when you're subjected to an effect. Allow you to make a dexterity saving throw, you take only half damage instead, uh, you take no damage. If you succeed, you take half, oh. half. If you fail, you take half damage. So it is area oh. effects. Yes. Uh, so sacred flame, you can't dodge. No. no it's, just, it's just to lessen the effect of area effect spells. Okay. Nice to be there. So if I cast like spiritual guardians. And Luzai was trying to come through, and he wasn't on the list of people who could pass through it. He'd have to roll. He could use evasion to dodge the. No, because that's a wisdom one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh it's wisdom. It's not. It's, it's just not... dexterity based saving throws. Yeah. Ah, okay, cool. Well, look, look, this is the kind of stuff that we can do, you know, purely out of scientific interest <laughs> <laughs> to see what fucks him up. <laughs> <laughs> so I cast Spiritual Guardians, and then when he can't dodge because it's a Wisdom save, Cade, you firebolt him. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> the guy's like, I don't think this evasion's working for me. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to hurt him. No, absolutely. But you know, it's it's good to. It's good to like exchange, you know, you know, thoughts about what works and what not, because we might find this useful, you know, this important. Yeah, of course, of course. Check it, we're checking if the dwarf's flammable. That's that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've already tested that once, but it's always good to make mm. sure. <laughs> can't make conclu- I, I, can't I, I, make conclusion from just one experiment. Yeah. Exactly. And I, I was actually aiming for the carpet, not you. <laughs> you were a happy accident. You were just wrapped up in the matter. Uh, God. Yeah, so uh, we keep ourselves amused. I suppose the turtles probably wondering what the hell's going on. Okay, uh, so where are we? Um, um right. <clears throat> okay, so um, so while everybody else is uh, doing the various things, Fafuk wanders around chatting to the locals. Um, a uh, Here's a few things. A, um, although only uh, the only thing of real interest is some uh, one of the turtles um, mentions um, the snake carving um, on a, on the uh, on one of the mountains nearby. Hang on a second. Didn't we have a parchment? Yes, that's what I'm referring to. Yeah. I'm like. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it's like snakes, like a thing around these parts. The, they tell you nobody, nobody knows when it was, uh, how old it is. It was, it's were abandoned long before, um, it were abandoned long before a high oil was founded. Um, they believe it's um, a sh- some kind of shrine to some snake religion. Mm. Regard it, they, they, are, they avoid it and regard it as a place of mystery and dark secrets. It's not Yig, is it? 
I don't want to be messing with him again. I am. Um, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And I, I, I mean, who's who's got the parchment? I mentioned to them that the locals know about a snake temple that looks a bit like this picture. Short it fell out of the book, didn't it? It fell out of one of the journals. Yeah. Yeah. But who who has it? Well, you know, with all the stuff on it. So whatever all our stuff is that we've carried down, it's with all that. Ah, okay. I just let me just write that. Uh, I bump into Obold while he's messing with herbalism, and I um, I mentioned that the locals know about a snake temple a bit long ago abandoned nearby that looks a bit like this picture we found. All right. Worth checking out. The ship's not here. Apparently, it's close. Um, Once it from that logbook from the Beach Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go and have a look in the, the logbooks then, because I'll be with everything else we've managed to carry down. Yeah, so no mention of it. Uh, no mention of it in the logbook at all. Yeah, there was just that picture. Yeah. We we'll take that picture to whoever told you about it, see if they recognise it. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, grab the parchment and um, show it to the um, total we were chatting to. Okay, uh, right. So they they tell you they the the look at it and and seem interested, but they tell you they uh, they haven't seen it, been there personally themselves. Um, they, they suggest talking to Mudgrow. Oh, okay. Cool. I wander across in my you know next I see Mudgrow, wander across to him with the parchment and Obold and. Ask him about it. Say that. Okay, you know, right. You good. you find you find Mudgrow uh, loudly um, giving his opinion on how somebody should be stacking crates and um, tell explaining to him that they're doing it uh, they're doing it all wrong, and he yeah, should know yeah. because he's got far my, my far more many years experience in stacking crates. Uh, well, really? Sounds <laughs> like an asshole. So you think, uh, you think he, he might not be telling the truth? Well, we haven't asked him yet. Okay, this is Mudgrow. Did that come up? Oh, no, me. I had a message yeah. that I'm not allowed to see it or something. Oh. Not permitted to oh, see. That was weird. It should come up. <clears throat> Show players. Show all players. Same. You don't have the sufficient permission to view. That is weird. Let's yeah, see. that's what I got as well. That's weird. So let's show it, do it individually then. That working? No, same message. Oh, that is, oh yeah, you do not have permission Wait, to see this entity sheet. We yeah, received yeah. the message. On it Foundry. Come on the screen. Come to go on across the screen. Yeah, I haven't seen anything yet. Uh, right. Okay, we'll have to do it another way then. Do it. Right, I'll just do it another way instead. Sure. Um, uh, no, not that one. Browser. Is it because the game's paused, Phil? Um, it could be, I suppose. Um, no, it doesn't matter. I've done. I've got it up this way anyway. There we go. Oh yeah, I can see now. Oh yeah. He looks old. He looks like a gargoyle. 
Looks like something mounted above a pub fireplace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks ancient. Um, so yeah, Mugdraw is about for is old for a total is about 40 about 44 years old and uh, stands about six feet tall <clears throat> mm. around his uh... neck is a medallion with like a circular um like maze like pattern on it we like mazes <laughs> especially if they're in underground caves what was uh... this language? Need tell us? Didn't he tell us what it was for? No. No. Wasn't this the guy I sent ascending to? No. 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 Quilgok. Quilgok. Thank you. Quilgok. He's um, the elder. Yes, I suppose. You know, hey, my girl, how's it going? Seem to be the man with lots of knowledge. We thought uh, we thought you may be able to help us with something. I know all. Excellent. That's what we need. How can I help you? Um, well, someone told us about a um, an abandoned temple nearby with lots of snake motifs, and it seems to look a bit like. Well, I suppose Oval's got the picture. Uh, a bit like this image we found. In one of the books in uh, Dwangaru. We were wondering if you knew much, anything about it. Is it an interesting day trip? Um, yes. Great Obtawo has led you to me. I see. I am Mudgra. I am a legend in these parts. What I lack in youth, I make up for experience. I have led many into the heart of this island and seen many things that will make, your, make you quiver in your shell. Sounds, yeah, sound, sounds like you are the perfect person. Obold recognizes for Fuchs gone into suck up, suck up mode. Sounds like you're the perfect person to assist us. Right, he rests a hand upon your shoulders. A deadly maze awaits us, brave one. With Upto's blessing, I shall guide you safely through it. Oh, excellent. Are you are you Happy to take us there? Would it, is it a long? Is it a long journey? A that is what I do best. I travel light and wear my home upon my back. I charge five gold pieces a day. Ooh. And how many days would it take us to to reach there? Life is a maze, my friend. Could try and charm him. What do you guys think? Yeah. No. I don't think that'd be a good idea. Do I recognise that medallion around his neck? Is it like a holy symbol? Um, you don't recognise it, no. Well, he rabbits on about a tower a lot, so. And he keeps mentioning a maze. That's why we're asking. I mean, shall we chat to the others, see if they're interested in a bit of a side trip? If it doesn't take, because we don't want to miss the ship, of course. Yeah, I'm going to say it depends on how, how long it is till the ship appears and I mean, how long like it takes us to get there. up there. Yeah, I mean, it's like half a day's trip. I try again with Obtower and I go, um, not Obtower, Mudgraw, and I say, Mudgraw, you know, the, our, our thoughts are, if we have... <sighs> If it takes us like half a day to reach there, we could we could go there, take a look around, be good tourists, and come back and not be in any, any danger of missing the trade ship that we want to get on. But if it's going to be like a three-day trip, then, you know, it's something we don't feel we could risk we could do because we'd potentially miss the ship. So, you know, trying to be as clear as possible, is this... Is the trip there like half a day or is it a full day? With Mudgraw, it would take a day. Without Mudgraw, take two days, maybe more. The path lies up through the mountains. Okay, <clears throat> question. When the ship's ca ship comes, how long does it stay over usually? Not 
term scribing spells? No, I, I was just oh, wandering was... around, okay. doing the afternoon sleep. <laughs> I'm just uh, having. I think, we asked, I think we asked this previously because they show up and then there's trading and. Yeah, so it, dep sorts. it depends. It all depends on what they've got and what what um, what each side's got to trade. Sometimes they'll stay just a day. Yeah, but, sometimes say a few but, days. But they don't leave, you know, in four or five hours. No, they don't. They don't just come and uh, no. They, they, so, they, they stay. They'll stay a full day at least. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to know. Okay, thank you. So I mean, we could. We could leave early, spend a couple of hours there, and then come back. I mean, if if people interested, otherwise. Interested. And how long is it until this ship turns up? We don't any, know. Any time. It's due to right. any time. And how about if we ask, you know, the turtles that, you know, if the ship turns up, you know, they come after us to notify us. And, and tell the ship crew that to hold the ship because we are definitely interested to travel. I mean, would that I be? I could cast sending. I mean, I could if we get there. I could cast sending to find out if the ship's arrived. Uh, yeah, but you'd, I think you'd have to to speak to the person you're you're wanting to send to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that they're aware that they, you need a response this time. Yeah, not just fucking up tower we'll panic. Send to ship. a religious panic. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, good thinking. Very good Grand thinking. Faith. Yeah. Well, the sh you know, if you guys weren't here, the shit for Fook would get up to. Fucking hell. <laughs> Sending, this is your god, Obtower. Give all your shiny shit to for Fook. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you still can do it. Just make sure you hide it. <laughs> okay, well, I mean... I don't know what what do you guys think. Is it something we want to be doing while we're while we're waiting for the ship to arrive? Yeah, I would be interested. The alternative is wandering around the town. Again, is it on this is it on this island though? Yeah, yeah. just into the hills, like a day's walk away. Do we have a? Yeah, we could always well. Is that a yes? Yes. 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 Cool. All right, I chat to um. Oh, sorry. What was the other one's name? We can not mad draw the other one. One almost made him shit himself. Quill, uh, or Quillock. Quillock. Uh, I chat to Quillock, and I explain that we would like to um go explore with under following mad Grawl up to the Snake Temple. You know, just for something to do. Um, but we are very concerned about missing the boat. So, when you get to this temple, I'm going to cast a spell that allows me to speak directly to Quillock, and I'll be able to say up to 25 words to him, and then he can respond to me in 25 words or less, and we'll be looking to find out if the ship has arrived or not. If the ship's arrived, we'll turn around and come straight back, because we don't want to miss the ship. Very important. Um... Or if the ship's not yet arrived, he can simply say the ship's not yet arrived. Right. He, under he understands. Nice. And, and give him old piece as a thank you. Yeah, and maybe tell the ship crew if they turn up that, you know, hold the ship for us because we like yeah, to travel yeah. and we pay money. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Excellent. Um, so I suppose we gear. Oh, lost and he's back again. So I suppose we um, we kit ourselves up and we see if my crawl's ready and then head off into the hills. Yep, yeah, it's still still early. So what are you doing? You're setting off, setting straight off. Oh, if it's early, we some more, set uh, right now. What do you guys? Some more rations. Yeah. I need to buy some more rations for Okay. If tackling, you can... if tackling is doing the good berry thing, we should be okay. Yeah. You can ditch your rat. You can ditch your rations. I'm not using spells for anything else at the minute. No, oh, awesome. Okay. Cause I mean, you don't you you don't have to if you don't want if you want to keep them, but I've thrown mine. 
if you want to if you want to get rations from uh, from the village they'll it'll all it'll be all fresh stuff so it's going to be considerably um bulkier they don't have any uh, like preserved stuff I'll just buy two days so. worth. No. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh. I suppose, and then we um, we head into the hills behind Madgraw if he's if he's free to go as well, of course. Did I manage to take a long rest, Phil? Um. No, you were supposed to be. You were rest. You were sleeping, weren't you? Mm -hmm. So no, you're probably still asleep. Yeah. We'll be back. No talking up. Okay, so if you're taking normal, if you want, if you take ra normal rations, um, sort of fresh rations from um, from the village, uh, it's a pound per day in weight. Yeah, I'll buy. I'll buy two days with. Okay. They'll, they're, they're happy to, pro to provide it for you, don't as well. You don't have to pay them or trade anything. Oh, happy, so happy, happy to provide like fresh food, but it's like it's like uh, you know fruit, mangoes yeah, so... and and, and uh, dried a dried fish or something like that or salted fish. Still food. Yep. We 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 thank them for it I, I take two days so yeah ta uh, tackling is actually fast asleep how, how many hours has he slept uh not long so, uh, uh, are you we guys making... can yeah you guys go ahead you could always find me ascendant see if the boat's here and if i can always run interference if it does turn up i kick tackling awake <laughs> Stylish. Oi, dwarf. Dwarf. <laughs> Not responding. Dwarf. <laughs> dwarf. Speak. Someone's speaking to you. No. No. Water. <laughs> Barrels. Shark. I. Uh, I have a water skin. Let's, uh, <laughs> if we're wandering, then uh, let's do it then. Yeah, wake up the dwarf. I have got so many different ways of waking him up. It's hard to choose one. I create a minor illusion of a shark. <laughs> and then peel back his eyelids so that the first thing he sees is a shark in front of him. Terrifying. Why are you torturing him? <laughs> Is that generally what you're doing? Uh, no, no. If, I, he I, wake, if he doesn't wake up from the shoeing, then yeah. <laughs> I, I like to wake, wake, wake him up in a normal way, you know, this nonsense. Uh, how would you like to wake up a sleeping dwarf then? I shake his shoulders, kick him a couple oh, of yes, times. Like Kick, kick him a couple of times in the, uh, you know, side. Usual. Is he waking up? Um, well, after he's been kicked yes. and shook, I imagine he does. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm not kicking him. <laughs> yes, he wakes no, up. I... He wakes up. Time to go. Come on, Jacqueline. We are going for an adventure and we don't want to leave you behind. There's a snake temple we're going to go look at. It's a long way from the ocean. Come along. You can sleep with the snakes. Come on, buddy. Time to go. Bed in a rest. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, you still got a level of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, the fucker kept us up half the night. You can walk now. <laughs> Uh, I pay Mudgraw his five gold pieces up front for the day. Okay. 
Alright, he, he thanks you. And we set off, I assume. Okay. Fafuk works on his musical instrumentation on the wall. Right. He um once you once you've all gathered together, he points you in the right di in the in the direction of a of a path leading away from uh, a hoi hoi, and um, tells you to get going. You're not coming with us. Yes, I walk. I walk at the back. Oh, okay. Better say cheeky. Player. What kind of guy? What kind of guy does that? <laughs> Very cool. One that doesn't one. get the one that doesn't get eaten first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, he has been look doing that. that. Look, look how old he is. So <laughs> he, he one that, the one that doesn't get rolled over by a boulder. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> that that will be talking. So yeah, we um follow the path, I suppose. Okay. Who's in? Who wants to be in front? Probably not me today. <laughs> uh, I can go in front for a while. Sleeper. Off the molds to either side. Well, is the game still paused on 7 a.m.? Oh, is it? Um, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yep. Well, it should be running now. Clock's running. Oh, I've still got the pause thing on. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pause thing on. It's paused oh, for me. Oh, right, there we no, go. no, it's not. It's gone. <laughs> uh, right. So, it, oh God, this thing is sticking to my pointer again. Uh, stop. stop. Uh, so, in which case it is now about just after midday. My, my screen's just just black. Screen's just black? Yes. Oh. Might want to just press escape and reload application. You're moving us to a new map? Nope. All right. Nope. It's the map, map of the village, I can see. No, it's still the same thing. I haven't changed, uh, changed the view. Let's see. <clears throat> um, what's, what happened there? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, Mudgraw directs you up the path um, and he uh, spends spends the day Sort of walking, walking up and down the line of you, inspecting you and informing you to, of how you should be walking, and um, that he has the best experience in walking, and uh, telling you that you're not doing it properly, and that I you should, myself. and that you should carry. You've not got your, not you've not got your equipment stored properly. And this is how, and the uh, every sort, he'll stop, he'll stop somebody and get him, make him take all the kit off, and he'll rearrange it for him, and tell him that's how it should be done. I'll, uh, I'll put put monks to one side and just uh, have a word with Turtle. I'm a bit grumpy and tired. Carries on. I'm going to chin him. <laughs> <laughs> Fair warning. Uh, for food tolerates it once. And then, then, uh, then starts asking Mudgraw leading questions like, "Mudgraw, can you can you use magic?" And things like, "Have you ever seen what a fireball does to a turtle?" <laughs> he says he doesn't know magic. He relies uh, he relies on the goodness of Uptawo. Oh, okay. And has Uptawo answered any of your prayers recently? Up towel has, has uh, saved my skin many a day. Oh, let's see now. Interesting. You see, because Alidamara lets me do things like this, and I'll uh, create, create like a mage hand, like poke him on the nose with it. <laughs> right, it chuckles. Seems right. to find I'll it amusing. 
I'll try to keep him amused as opposed to an annoying twat. Right. <laughs> Deal. Okay. Right. So long as you, you engage him, he, uh, it distracts him from his uh, from his observations and criti- general criticism. Um, I tried. To... Oops, sorry, Kevin. Yep. Yeah. And uh, it leads you up through the jungle and up into the hills uh, before he uh, before he, he jogs ahead a little a little uh, short distance as it get when it's getting later in the day, and then informs you it comes back to inform you that he's found a perfect camping spot, uh, which indeed he has. He uh, find is like uh, it leads you to a spot with a overhanging um, outcropping. And uh, and a stream of uh, crystal clear, cool water running nearby. I ask him how long, how far is, you know, the temple from here. It says that he, sh- he thinks you should, uh, if all goes well, should get there by tomorrow, uh, midday tomorrow. That's perfect timing. Mm-hmm. I um I wait for the evening and then I'll cast ascending back to, um, hey. Quill. Quillock. Quillock. Sorry, say it again slowly. Uh, Quillock. Quillock. Oops. There was something else there for a horrible moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, ooh, needful. Um, and then uh, ask him if uh, the ship's arrived yet. Uh, a, um, he seems <clears throat> a bit puzzled at first and then says, no. I uh, tell the party, Quill Gox says no. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, I settle so, down, make a camp. I suppose we want the Learman's tiny hut. Yes, definitely. Sure. Yep. Well, Mudgraw would have seen it because we've cast it around the fort a few times. Yeah. Set a watch, as usual. Does Quilgok want to join us in the hut at this space? Oh uh, yes, is uh, is quite um, is quite intrigued to see what it's like. Yeah, sure. It's embarrassing to lose a guide at this point. You say embarrassing might be necessary. Carries on. <laughs> Right. Anything interesting happen in the evening? I think we should take Tarquin out from the watch and, you know, let him have a full sleep. I'll take his watch. Okay. Ooh, 21 you. on performance for Fuchs enjoying himself. Well, nice. Getting the hang of this loot. It's better. It's better. It's getting better. You know, it's the it's the gaps between the strings that that that's the thing for Fuchs discovered about this instrument. That's the reason he struggled. It's the basing on the strings is not quite traditional, so you know, it's taking a moment to adjust for it. Uh, let's see. Um... Okay, that's interesting. Uh, right. Okay, so you settle down for the night. Um, Mudgraw regales you with uh, more tales of his adventures, which, uh, despite his his sort of level of a uh, certain level level of arrogance, his stories are quite interesting. Mm. Informative then. Uh. Well, possibly if they're true, anyway. <laughs> can I inside check him just to see? You can, I suppose, yeah. I mean, just to see if he says the truth or not. Oh. Uh, he's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Oh, I get to memorize an extra spell. Right, eventually everybody retires and you set, set, set up your watch. And the night uh, passes uh, passes without events yeah. uh, until Cade takes the final watch. Oh. Right, um, as Cade's sat about waiting for the sun to come up, amusing himself and not really paying much attention to what's going off. Um, is surprised to see a large, um, a large shape moving just, uh, just on the edge um, of the light of the camp. Can I react or do anything? Uh, you can make an initiative roll. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, it's not inside the hut, is it? Cade has to be in the hut. Otherwise yeah, it's inside the hut. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. Uh, right. Well, so you, so um, yeah, it it reacts before or acts before you do. Um, so you see a huge a huge turtle with a, a, a like a bony sort of almost two flight beak. Um, it sort of comes stomping into the camp and begins butting up against the the shelter. Okay. <laughs> is it going to try and mount us? Is it trying to fuck us? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I, I don't understand what's going on. You're not, oh, well, you're not, you're not sure whether it's trying to shout. I shout. I shout. I mean, can I can I shout? Um, yeah, sure. You can, you can yeah, I, I shout alarm, alarm, <laughs> and wake up the rest of the party. <laughs> Be mounted by a giant turtle. <laughs> I don't know. The kid doesn't understand what's going on. Am I having a Am I having a bad dream, like talking? Okay, right. Everybody uh, uh, woken by tackling, shouting in a bit of a panic. Unless he thinks it's an egg. I asked Mudgro, "What the fuck is that?" <clears throat> this is a giant snapping turtle, common to the. Uh, Common to the uh, to the island. So what's it trying to do? Uh, either eat us or mate with us. <laughs> ah, right, it, tur it, 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 tur it, it turns away. It, yes, it's trying to mate with us. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god. Right, so there's an awkward ten minutes. Uh, well, five or ten minutes as this thing sort of scrabbles, um, scraping its um, nether regions against the side of the shelter, before it finally uh, gives up and uh, I took wanders my off of again. Boarding school. I'm taking a point in nature law jungle. That's got to be something. That's got to be. That's a definitely noteworthy. <laughs> Kid debate. Kid uh, debates whether it's worth going out with a cloth. No, kid is not touching that. Not going out. Fuck no. <laughs> kid is moving to the opposite end of the dome. Okay. So, does anyone know if turtle jizz is a spell compound? <laughs> Bless him. Gross. Right. right well. Still wanders off back into the jungle. Okay, just the rest is rest then. Okay. Get back to sleep. Right, yeah, you see, you, cause some of you manage to get back to sleep, some of you don't. Um, and you eventually um, you eventually rise to the dried substance on the side of the shelter. Dear. Dear. Right. Luckily, uh, it starts to rain. What and begin, uh, after about half an hour or so, it washes washes it off again. Charming. I'm just shaking my head and let's move. Head off. Carry on going. Okay. 
Uh, can the group nominated group leader roll uh, three six sided dice? Am I back as leader? Wow, what's a terrible intelligence check there? Mm hmm. Oh, won't he be the leader since he's our guy? Um, it will be as an NPC, so well, I can roll, but fair enough, I'll roll the dice. That was my uh, jungle nature roll. Um, turtle just piss for me. <laughs> okay, right. So, um, let's see. Is it a drawing? It's a drawing, isn't it? Oh, it's finally loaded the island map. I've only just done it that. <laughs> I'll just put it onto that. Right. Uh, but it probably refreshed it because of that. Uh, okay. So love the village in, in that, that the screen. All right. It's weird. <clears throat> right. So, as promised um, by Mudgrow, um, just around midday, you come in sight of. Um, a mountain with this uh, with serpent's heads carved into its base. Let's see where are we? No, nope, not that. That's the south coast. Uh, there we go. Right. So nested at the foot of a mountain um, is a giant carving of a snake's head. As you draw closer. You can see its forked tongue forms a 10 foot wide, 20 foot high stone ramp. Stone fangs descend from the roof of the serpent's mouth, which forms a canopy over a dark 10 foot wide tunnel leading into the mountain. <clears throat> wow. It's not ominous at all. I think it's good. It looks good. Very atmospheric. Shall we go take a look in? Well, I suppose we asked Mugcrow, has any turtles been inside the temple? Uh, it's it believes it believes so, but um, he's not heard of um, of uh, anyone going there re uh, recently. They tend to uh, they tend to stay clear of the place. They're a bit suspicious, a bit superstitious about it. Do you want to leave it there before yeah, we go be. in? That might be a good idea. Yep. I'm good with calling it. Very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Excellent oh, stuff. Oh, what's that doing down there? That's completely wrong part of the screen for some reason. Oh, okay, stuff. then, guys. So I'll leave it there till we um, next week, then, is it? Yeah, next Sunday. Sunday. Yeah.